In this tutorial, we'll be learning about ArcMap 10x interface. So let's get started. I'm using version 10.8.1, but regardless of the um, ArcMap version you are using, so far it's version 10, our interface should look the same. So um, once you start your ArcMap 10.x up, you should you should get something like this. You should get this um, ArcMap getting started windows. So we have a blank map, we could actually say OK, and we have some templates we could work with. Um, we have some preloaded templates we could actually um, start working with. So you could you could like explore all of this, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we won't be like going through all of that, so we'll just cancel. So this is the interface the, the software presents. You have the table of contents by the left, you have the catalog, you can pin it, you can unpin it, then you have the search also so um what we can do is to um we can close the search and also for the catalog we can so for the catalog we can move it around we can we can dock it somewhere here so it's the same thing for the table of content or the search so if you want to dock it you just like place it very close or you place it on an arrow so we have like four different arrows we have this we have this and we have this so these are like different places we could actually dock it so i'll just like um dock it up here so we have the um catalog showing up there but it doesn't make sense like staying up there so i'll just um, return it to its former position so um i'll just close the catalog and also close the table of contents so this is how the um, user interface looks like so we have the file we could open a new map document um, we could open an existing one, we could save, and we have um, all of this. So we also have the edits. Now these are blanked out now because um, we have not started working or we've not added any um, data to our interface. So we also have the view, we have the data view, the layout view. We have the bookmark. We could actually bookmark um, a place we want to like revisit over time. We have the inserts, we have the selection. So remember, all these are blanked out right now because we've not we've not actually added any data to the interface. We have um, the tool processing where we can actually um, choose tools to work with. So it's just loading for a while. All right, we have the tool processing tools. We have the customize. Um, you could activate your um, extensions here. So I'll just um, advise you check all of this. All right, and you close. We have the windows and we have the help. So the user interface presents two toolbars for us. So we have the standard toolbar and we also have the tools toolbar. So this is the tools toolbar and we have the standard toolbar. So let's just explore the standard toolbar as we go. So now um, on standard toolbar, we have um, like similar stores we have on the file here. The open, the new and save. So we have them here. Also, so this is like to open a new map document, an existing one, and to save. So we have the add data. We could add data from a file, um, from our device, and we could add data from online resources. So um, we have the editor. So once I click this, the editor toolbar comes up. So I'll just drop this here. So now remember we closed the table of contents earlier. So we could just like click this. So if you mistakenly close the table of contents to like get the table of contents back, you just click this. So um, it appears here. Also the same thing for the catalog and um, the search. So you just um, hide this and we also hide this. So um, we have the Arc Toolbox. So the Arc, Arc Toolbox houses um, all our geo processing tools. We have the Python. So um, say we want to write some lines of code, we could use this. I'll just close this for now. Um, we have the model builder. So basically, the model builder is um, uh, is a tool to automate your process, your processing. So we could actually use this. We'll learn more about that um, later in the course. So um, we also need to add data to like explore the um, the editor. So we'll learn about that much later. And now on the tools toolbar, we have um, the zoom in. All right. So um, before I go to the tools toolbar, I'll just add um, data so we could like understand more about the tools toolbar. So to add data, I'll click on the add data button. And now because this is the very first time we are like using the software, 
um, we would have to connect the software to our um, folder, the, the folders on our local device, probably our drive or on our desktop. So um, this symbol here with the plus icon is to connect our software to, to the folders on our laptops. So we'll just click that and um, so I would like to connect to this particular folder GIS with ArcMap and I'll say OK. So once you connect to the folder, it opens up the folder. So I could open the folder world. So in the folder, we have um, three different shape files for, um, for the world. So I'll just um, click on this world countries. I double clicked on it. Now we have the shape file of the world country. So I could actually double click on it or just click on it once and press add. So now we have the um, world countries loaded up. So now we could explore the tools toolbar. So the first um, icon we have is the zoom in. So selecting the zoom in could actually zoom in into um, the African continent. We have the zoom out. We could also zoom out. Um, now we have the pan. So we could pan around. So from Africa, we could pan around to Europe or Asia. So we could pan around the map um, any way we want it. Now, we have the full extent button so once i click this button it returns the map uh, into the full extent so you can see um the world view again you have the fixed zoom in so once i click this it zooms in with respect to the center of the map so it keeps zooming in like to the center of the map it keeps zooming into the center of the map all right so uh, we have the fixed zoom out it keeps zooming out with respect to the center of the map so it keeps zooming out that way all right, so now we have this um, previous extent, which I feel it's actually very handy. The previous extent basically um, zooms back to the previous um, view. So say, so say I zoom around um, Africa. When I go back to the previous extent, it goes back to the like to the world view where we have all the continent showing. So if I press this, it goes back to Africa. I press this, it goes back to the world view. So that's what the extent buttons are for, the extent icons are for. So we have the select features. So we could actually select a particular feature. So here I'm selecting just Nigeria. Let me just zoom in to um, West Africa. So um, let me clear the selection. Um, this button is to clear selection. So um, I'll select again, so I could select Nigeria. So you could see that clearly. Um, so that's how we select, I could select um, somewhere else. But um, to select multiple countries, at once you just have to like drag the box across all the countries then everything gets selected so now you could unselect also then we have the um the normal um arrow i've been using so far then we have the identify so you could actually choose to identify a particular country um with respect to the attributes on the on the um attributes table it populates it gives us the results of the identified so um, now I, I identify the particular country and it's telling that the name of the country is Ivory Coast. So basically that's how the identify tool works. So we have um, the HTML pop-up, we have the measure to measure from one distance to other, we have the find, we have the find route, and we also have go to X, X, Y. So I think um, this is basically you input a particular coordinate and it flashes it on the map. So um, we have the create viewer window. So we, we, we basically have a lot of um, tools we could actually work with. So to work with um, various tools, all you have to do is just um, right click right here, like anywhere here. So once you right click, you get every other tool we could actually add. So you have a lot of tools we could add. So we'll be learning more about all of this um, in the following tutorials. So um, that's a brief overview of what the interface looks like.